Hello everyone, this is Ali and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to create a Python script that has an API call that will back up the configurations of the Fortinet firewall that I have at home. So I'm going to log into the firewall here with the admin account. I tried with my account, even though my account is an admin account, but it didn't really work. Uh, because with a domain account with this account I have to create a REST API user just from here create REST API admin and I just call it API underscore user I set the trusted hosts where this user can log in from and I created a profile for that user that is read only but it didn't work for me uh, the backup didn't work until I put read write under system you can give it read write but um, under system here the administrator users need read and write I don't know why it didn't work with read only so this is the profile I created uh, the API user and and you can generate a token unless you're under the admin account the admin that comes with uh, with the device, with the Fortinet device. So I'm gonna regenerate. I'm gonna copy this token and I'm gonna put it on the side here. And I'm gonna click OK. Uh, so I'm going to back up from a uh, Linux virtual machine here. I'm connecting, I'll show you real quick. So this is my firewall, this is a virtual machine where I'll be running my script. Uh, it has the IP address 192.168.25.100. This has 192.168.25.1. This is the gateway for that machine. If you want to run the script, um, or if you want to run um, the request to another IP, you have to create a policy on the firewall that will allow this network or this machine to access that other IP. I'm going to put this back here and I'm going to start with the script so I'm just going to say nano um, I usually create them under scripts I'm going to say um, backup just for the example here backup.py and first of all I'm going to import requests so that we can uh, um, send a, send a uh, an API request. This is the requests library in in, um, in Python. So I'm going to create a variable called API URL, and here I'm going to put a string of the URL. So HTTPS. And the firewall is at 192.168.25.1. If you are using another port, you can add it here. For example, if you're using something custom like 12443 or something, you can do that. But I'm not doing any of that. And then the rest of the URL API v2 monitor system config backup and we'll specify scope equal global so the global configurations and uh, we'll set up we'll specify the access token access token equal and the token I'll just copy paste from here so this is the token. So this will be my um, the API URL that I will um, I will put it inside this get requests. So requests dot get, and I'm gonna pass in API URL, or you can just type in this whole this whole string inside here. And then 
Uh, let's say I'm gonna save the data. Actually, I'm gonna save it in a variable called data because I'm gonna save it in a file. Or you can you can call it response or whatever. And I'm just gonna print uh, data dot status code. Just want to make sure we have uh, 200 status code. Okay. Yes. Now I'm gonna run this script home. Now let's see. Okay, certificate verify failed. And this happened and I found I found this online, this line. Requests.packages.urllib3 disable warnings. I'll try that. So control X I'm using nano, yes, and save. Python 3. Let's see. Oh, there's another one I have to specify right here in the request. Inside the get request, um, there's this one verify equal false. Uh, let's see. I think it's working. Status code 200. Okay, so I printed the status code but we need to print the data and let's try to print the data and to print the data uh, I have to say data.text okay and this these are the end this is the end of the file the configuration file so it works I'm gonna go back here I don't want this and I'm gonna save this data file or this data variable inside a file I'm gonna do with open and inside here I have to specify where I want to save it and write and I have to say B for um, to write it in binary or binary mode as file or f i'll just keep it f for now and here is where i save the file so i have a directory it's called um 40 gate backups i think and i will save the file as um as api backup.conf okay and then from here two, three, four, four line and this data I'm going to loop through every line is that eight one two three four and I'm going to write every line to this file object Okay, and this should save this response. We're just gonna call this. Oh, I'll keep it data. So this is gonna. This is going to save the response of the uh, of the get request in a file called apibackup.conf. So this is the most important piece. HTTPS. The IP address of the 40 gate api v2 monitor system config backup question mark scope equal global uh, i think it could be um, you can specify which vdom you want and then access underscore token and you put the token i'm gonna save that control x enter i'm gonna run the script again All right, we're not printing anything, so let's see. ls-l 
um, 40 gig backups. Okay, and this is the file I just created. And I'm gonna look at the file here. I'll use more API. Okay, now this is my file. It starts with this line out always. Uh, config system global. This is my 40 gate. That is correct. And you can go all the way to the bottom. Okay. So I'll just put this here again. You import requests module. Um, this is the API URL that you want to pass into the get request. So it is right here uh, and access underscore token and the, and the token that you generated over here inside the 40 gate and then you just disable warnings and use this and then you save it in a file and I have another video to run this script uh, automatically with the cron tab I'll, uh, I'll link it to this video or put it in the description box and if you like the video please like and subscribe and thank you for watching